Okay. In this video, we are going to understand about the accounting or the balance sheet equation. Now the first question which comes up is, what do you mean by this equation? The accounting or the balance sheet equation as it is called says that the assets of a business are always equal to the capital and the liabilities. Now you must be wondering, what all does this mean? Let's ignore this equation for a time being and listen to these facts. A started his business. Okay? Now what A did was that as he started his business, he brought in cash. A is the owner. He brought in cash of, let's say, 200,000. Right? Let's say he borrowed or took a loan of 100,000. So the total money that he had was 300,000. And this money he used to bring buildings of let's say 250,000. So out of total money of 300,000, he bought buildings worth rupees 250,000. So what is the balance? The balance cash which is left with him is 50,000. Now if you do a sum total of both these sides, this gives you 300,000. And I'm going to give you a detailed reasoning of each one of these as we move forward in the further videos. But to understand for the current purpose, what we say is that the assets of the business, what are the assets? The assets are your building and your cash, which is 3 lakh or 300,000, is always equal to the capital and the liabilities. How much was the capital? The cash which A bought in was the capital. The sum contributed by the owners is basically known as capital for accounting purposes. And the liabilities is the amount, the loan that he owes to the outsider. Now let's say, for instance, if he wouldn't have taken a loan of 100,000, but he would have taken a loan of 50,000. Then basically, this sum would have been 250,000. Okay. The entire money he spent on getting the building, so the cash amount that will remain will be zero. Again, if you see here, the asset that the business own in the form of building, the value of the asset is equal to the value of the capital plus the liability. For accounting purposes, this is referred to as A is equal to C plus L. From your basic mathematics that you have done, you know, you know how to extrapolate this. You can also write that capital is equal to what? You move this to the other side, so it becomes A minus L. Similarly, liabilities, if you have to take this as here, so you move C to the other side, is asset minus capital. So these are the other deviations for the accounting equation. But if you remember this one, which is the main one, then you would be able to manage the other two. So as long as you are aware of this particular accounting equation, the other ones are fine. 